Hi guys, this is Maluchi and welcome back to Dauntless. Today uh, we're finally gonna start a quest. It's been uh, it has been a hard and hard 24 hours to not start the quest already, but we're gonna start the quest. And I'm gonna show you a little uh, parts of extras that came into the game with 0.8.1. And one of the extras is we no longer put together two heads to smash them together to get an actual head. There's now a whole list to uh, go over with. And actually uh, the body type, uh, the skin colors, uh, it, it actually makes... Uh, you can even set your eyes asymmetric and stuff like that. So it, it's really a really nice screen. Uh, you can dye your eyes like a bunch of colors. Uh, there's a bunch of hairstyles in here. What was it? It's uh, it's somewhere here. Oh, the brush, yeah. So a bunch of hairstyles you can pick out of. You can go bald if you like. Uh, all the colors you can pick out. The beards and the facial hairs. Uh, different eyebrows, eyebrow size. Like I like this menu to change your character uh, a whole lot more than the other, uh, the previous one. And I. I just can't put my head around it why uh, it has a lot of the same components in it it just looks a little bit different but it, it, it just yeah it kind of kind of makes sense uh, to me facial extras some dyes some paints uh, you can put on there but yeah, I kind of really love this menu uh, the new menu that they brought in to actually uh, create your character you can still not make your character bigger or smaller uh, or like really tiny or really fat uh, like that is I think if they brought that into the game uh, you would see you would see a whole lot of different uh, whole lot of different players out there you basically always will have the same structure kind of so I'm not really sure if this will ever get implemented but I thought it was a nice implementation a new screen to uh, make you look different from all the rest although my face is usually hidden uh, something more I've been talking about a few episodes uh, ago, uh, something I mentioned. Um, and that was, oh yeah, we had a new hunt pass, so the rewards, I'll quickly go over them. If you check in the uh, hunt pass, you, uh, if you click on them, you can actually see what you are getting. Uh, and if you go further, like the icons, they appear up top, there's not really a good visual up here. Uh, lanterns and it's, it's a, it's a, it's pretty filled, it's pretty filled, even the lower, uh, the, well, the basic track is pretty filled up uh, till 17, then it gets a little smaller. Um, still got a nice new flare in there. As you can see, and some nice animations, the one finger push up, I really like this one actually. Uh, so new plants, starstruck in here for the elite ones. A new hammer skin and then they actually put uh, silent shadows at 50 uh, usually they put something at 64 like there and then uh, basically stops for the basic track but now they actually want the basic track to go completely to the end uh, so both the elite and the basic track will only get the silent shadow uh, title at the end of the hunt pass kind of really like this uh, makes you uh, need to play more and that's always good right uh, that's actually not what I wanted to talk about, but it's always good to throw it in there. Uh, the mastery system. Uh, I kind of said before in previous episodes that I kind of wish you could see what rewards you actually get. Well, now at the bottom there is actually a reward button. So for the Slayer levels, you can see Mastery Slayer Level 2, Unlock and Consumable Slot 2, Bronze Slayer Core. So the entire Max Upgrade Level 6 for gear. So the entire... The entire max health plus 20, max stamina plus 2. Uh, not a lot, I thought it was bigger. Max health 40, max stamina plus 4. So you can see the entire list and you can see of course uh, max health plus 100 and stamina plus 10. So it starts, it starts uh, Gather Bonus Omni Stone 25%, Double Behemoth Kill 30% chance. Like there are some really nice rewards in here for the Behemoths as well. Uh, double Behemoth Break Park chance 15%. Uh, at later uh, tiers, it's gonna be 20%, as I can see here. And then uh, Double Behemoth Break Park 25%. So uh, one out of four Behemoths should give you double double the items which you break at the end. So pretty good full uh, bonuses in here. 
uh, for the X's as well, uh, you can see at level 16 you get your uh, last, um, well, is it usable, I guess you could call it, uh, or ultimate, uh, you could call it for these serrated blades for chain mastery. Uh, the hammers get uh, extended clip access at 16. And then the repeaters, uh, as we saw, we got the lucky magazine. Um, well, we got it, we didn't see it because we were already... Uh, level 20 the pikes gets at level 16 balanced spearhead so yeah i still need to actually gather these up before i can make a video about uh, the lightweight shaft the balanced spirit what they all do uh, and the sword at the end uh, perpetual blade core at 16 so i already have that one so i can already uh, start making the video about that one we have some uh, nice little features that are in the game, making it more um, obvious what you actually get when you actually got it. Um, and yeah, it makes the game uh, a lot more interactive. But I do remember that we left off with our quests. Uh, I didn't have Bright Shadows in here. Uh, Hunt, Resikiri and Shroud. I already did that one. I kind of had a quest so that my gear needed to be 550 and my weapon needed to be 550. Um, for gear score, I guess you could call it, uh, loadout. So loadout 524, almost there, and then 512 uh, here. But it was kind of stuck behind uh, Behemoth Mastery 28 before I could move on with my loadout for my gear. Um, so yeah, basically I got another quest from Catherine it. and it is nice actually work. completed. You're not just a slayer anymore, you're a myth killer, a legend breaker. Don't let it go to your head, but you're now hunting things I'd only ever heard of in Tales and Tomes. You're making me proud, you know, making me remember why I started training Slayers in the first place. Well done. Rook. Bright Shadows. And as a reward, we get... Uh, the icon is something like a, a, a too really long item name is what it's called. I would say because it's this game, it looks like a chain blade, but it actually looks like a, a pickaxe. I'm not really sure if you guys can see it at your screen. But yeah, I'm not really sure what the hell this reward is. Too really long item name. Watch your back. Acidic cell and rams. Okay, so we got acidic cells. Uh, why couldn't it say acidic cells? So that was the quest, and no quest for. I was thinking that I might get the quest for the gear score now from her, but we do have other quests, so let's check out those as well. I'm loving the updates, uh, the jumping, the, the boosting, the movement speeds uh, in total, uh, in mod, we trust, and special fortress. Equip one of your weapons with a weapon mod, except uh, Slayer, word is getting around and Wills likes what he hears. You are becoming a true master of the hunt, as the Slayers like to say. And with such mastery, you are entitled to use some of my unique modifications. Your fellow Slayers call them mods, I believe. In mods we trust, open your loadout and select the weapon, then add a weapon mod for some powerful Austin enchantments. So I already uh, have most of my weapons or swords and axes that I actually use. Already have a mob on there, so it's instantly completed. And then we have special forces, equip one of your weapons with a new special attack, that should be an instant as well. Your master of weaponry warns, um, warms my Austin heart. Friend Slayer and Wills has something very special for you to celebrate. As you know, all of my weapons have special attack you can unleash after building up a Thetic Charge. With this new piece of Austrian Aethercraft, uh, you can add new powerful special attacks to your arsenal. Now you must simply add it to your weapon of choice, swapping it out for what uh, what's there. Enter your loadout, select the weapon and add your new special. It's so simple, Zepco could do it. Come back soon. So apparently I still need to do that. So loadouts, Austin repeaters. So let's change it up. Um, I am using right now uh, as a test the, where was it? Um, Oh, what was it? Uh, using an ability returns 4 ammo to the magazine. Basically, uh, every time you use an ability, it doesn't matter if it's lantern, uh, hold, or your instant, if it's a throwable from your repeater, if uh, anything you do, basically, uh, 
will grant you four ammo. So if you use it well, you can basically load up your uh, magazine while you are uh, shooting. So your magazine, and even and in the speed that I'm actually shooting it right now, like the speed build, it's not ready yet. Uh, probably needs to be a different weapon. Uh, let's check out loadouts. And let's pick another weapon real quick. Let's do this. Yeah, no utility cell equipped. Um, got gunning in there for six. Not really sure. Let's put uh, pa -pa -pum, gauntlets in here. Also, it was a good one. And now what else did I need to yeah, adhesive hilt? Uh, so adhesive hilt, uh, perpetual blade storm, dealing damage while in special generates a small amount of special meter. And then reactive hilt, dodge attacks, always critical strike. Uh, so I'm using adhesive, becoming unstaggerable while in special. Uh, let's quickly switch them out. And switch back and then valiant overdrive. Uh, Ardent cyclone activated full meter to start the spin, damaging nearby enemies to duration reaction. Reactivate to slash in a direction, damaging enemies. And then valiant overdrive activated full meter to enter overdrive, increasing attack speed and causing attacks to deal AoE damage. Reactivate to dash in a direction, incurs a short cooldown. So yeah, let's uh, swap these out as well and actually equip the weapon. Yeah, so we have the weapon equipped now and now we actually Back respond. Slaying, are you? That is complete. If only Bills uh, could see this powerful new special attack in action. But alas, my place is here working on new and more powerful ways to defeat the behemoths that threaten us all. Clear skies, my good friends. So equip one of your weapons with a new special attack. Completed. Well, my and that is basically it for the quests, I do believe. Yeah, it, it might be possible that they actually remove the quest for 550. Um, so yeah, uh, basically we are done. These were all the quests. It might be a little shorter episode. Uh, but yeah, uh, a little thing of... Uh, the li oh, I'm losing my words. Uh, a little look into some uh, adjustments that were brought into the game. Uh, not sure if I talked about this. So yeah, Terra is now also in the game. Uh, Terra is basically, as you can see it, it's a leaf, meaning it's uh, earth. Uh, and earth goes well against electricity. Uh, so in pursuits, we have the Terra behemoths. Uh, that's Kashai, Karabak, and Skarn. Basically, those three are the new uh, changes that they got. Uh, to the new elements and uh, what else was in there i was thinking of something but i can't really recall it anyway guys i've got some hunting to do i do believe in 15 hunts i can max out my repeaters uh meaning i can still uh, work on my gear and actually get a complete set uh at max rank and then we have to work on our mastery rank because yeah now that the repeaters are done uh, we kind of need to start working at some other weapons, right? Uh, if 20 is the max, I still have a long way to go for all these. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.